Welcome to the Lead Pedal Podcast with your host, Bruce Outridge, where he talks all things trucking. Now let's get rolling. How's everybody doing today? Welcome to another edition of the Lead Pedal Podcast. I'm your host, Bruce Outridge, and this is... uh this is uh, episode number 1042, and um, we're going to tell you what's new today, give you some idea of what guests are coming up and the events coming up as well. So uh, we'll do it right after this, so stay tuned. Hey folks, are you an owner or operator looking for a place to call home? Well, Rims Transport is based out of Hamilton, Ontario, and that's right. They are a place, owner operator fleet only. They run flatbed out of uh, Hamilton, and they don't run much more than five to 700 mile radius. So if you're looking for a place that you can get back home on a regular basis, you can get good miles, they have a great culture for owner operators, and they want you to succeed, then Rims Transport is the place to do that. Where can you learn more? Go to rimstransport.com. Make sure you tell them that the Lead Pedal Podcast sent you, and we want you to be successful. We know them personally over there and we know they're going to take good care of you you got open board you've got uh tandem us you got uh, multi-axle us you got city you got all kinds of positions available there all owner operator fleet so if you want to be successful for 2023 and beyond then get on with rims transport and tell them we sent you all right everybody talk to you later go to rimstransport.com all right there you go okay so let's start with uh what's going on new here what changes have we got all that kind of stuff we do have some changes uh, we don't have a whole lot at summer time everybody's uh everybody's gone probably the biggest change we've got is to our lead pedal 1000 tour um we had a couple dates set uh that we were supposed to be on the tour we were supposed to be at the iowa 80 show of course that didn't happen we had to change things at the last minute and we had our lead pedal uh, fan club which was going to be november 1st so we've had to cancel that now we are still doing a lead pedal 1000 tour we are just going to be doing it at other shows we've had some others come on board so we're uh we're not going to be doing that last one um for a number of reasons but uh, mostly just uh logistics was probably the biggest thing so so uh anyway lead pedal 1000 tour still goes on we still need a thousand pictures and we are way behind uh so you will see um so let come on out if you see us at the truck shows come on by and get a picture and uh, get some swag if we got any left and all that kind of stuff um we are going to be uh changing some of our banners and stuff not too much um just uh doing a refresher to a lot of stuff uh, our socials pages streamlining that kind of stuff so so you may see some changes there. Nothing, uh, nothing serious to worry about. Uh, but we will be making uh, some changes uh, there. But that's about all that's new, really. Uh, we're just, uh, you know, it's summertime. Uh, lots of stuff coming up, and we're just holding on. <laughs> You know, as it is, we're enjoying the shows. Uh, probably the biggest new thing. Did you see? Uh, if you saw it in the, I um, said uh, the Great Canadian Truck Show a couple of weeks ago. Probably the biggest thing there was uh, uh, our new broadcasting mobile cruiser. Now, it's still the same pickup truck I've had, but we are broadcasting from the back of the pickup truck now, which is kind of cool because it puts you up a little bit and you, you see a lot more and it kind of gives you a new energy. You'll see me with the orange umbrella. So if you ever see that, come out and say hello. It allows us to be mobile. Some of these shows want us to move around a little bit, and that's going to be a really a game changer as well. So uh, excited to see that. Come see us. You probably saw pictures already on our social but come and check that out because it's a really cool uh cool way to uh to uh see the show and you know you, you might have to climb up to get an interview done but uh we'll set it up for you so that you don't have to climb if you don't want to uh but come down and uh we're trying to do a we're trying to do more at the fan um uh, at the shows for fans so we're gonna have like a fan zone which is just a place for you to relax but hopefully make it uh interesting for you and uh take some pictures and um you know just sit around have a cold drink if you want and that kind of stuff so we're uh, we're trying to figure out how to do that better um now that, because i uh, see well, i used to be in the tent when i was broadcasting i had a table in the tent and i basically took up the whole tent if you've seen the size of me at a table at equipment it was you know you only had room for a couple chairs now that i've moved to the truck um it leaves the tent wide open and of course uh now we've got some room to do some other stuff uh, in there so uh that's that's kind of what we're doing so we're kind of we're excited about that we're we're looking for ideas i don't know what you've seen i don't go to a lot of football games so i know that like they've got tailgate parties um you know we're not going to feed the whole park but we do want to do some stuff to uh, uh look into what's available as far as uh, making fan club stuff fun and that kind of stuff so so come and join us come see us at the 
shows, and uh, we'll see we'll see where that goes. All right, okay, we're going to uh, come back after this, and I'll uh, tell you what uh, guests we got coming up on the Lead Pedal Podcast for the month of August. So stay tuned. Hey, folks, have you heard of CAT Transport? That's right. They are one of the leading carriers in Canada. They're, they've been best managed fleet for many years. They are a very large carrier that operates right across North America. And uh, the best way to find out about what they have to offer is to go to cat.ca and then click on the careers button. But let me tell you some of the things that are available to you right now. They've got locations based in key metropolitan areas across North America. You do not have to work out of Quebec, even though they're a Quebec based carrier. They have operations for you anywhere that you live. Total health benefits are available right off the bat. Remote work options, compensation that is competitive with the industry. Company matching pension plan. Hey, why not grow while they're growing? And on-site health and wellness programs are available. They've got career growth opportunities because they're a fast-growing company and they provide a work-life balance that they believe is best of the best. Skills development and training programs will keep you advancing in your career so that you can spend a long time with CAT. So check out CAT Transport at cat.ca CA and check on the click on the careers button to find out all about it. And by the way, tell them that the Lead Pedal Podcast sent you. All right, so let's talk about some of the uh, guests that we've got coming up for the month of August so that you can keep yourself on track and keep going with what's happening for us. So this is our first episode, um, episode number 1042. Uh, the next one, which is a lead pedal Q and A, we're going to be talking about living in your truck and what's expected there. And our first featured truck for uh, this month is the Seagrave Fire Truck, which we saw up at the Clifford Truck Show. So we'll be uh, showing you that for sure. Uh, on the other side is uh, episode number one thousand forty-five. We're going to give you a recap of the Great Canadian Truck Show. We had some fun talking with people there and broadcasting from there. So we'll uh, give you some of that. Um, and uh, we're going to be talking about who started the trucking industry to begin with. That's right. That's on episode number 1046 another history lesson for you in 1047 we're gonna be talking about safety on the road there's been a big issue with old drivers new drivers you know all of these stuff they brought in elds and all this stuff and our accident rates are going up uh we had a chat with a a friend jack over at alpine truck driving school we're gonna uh give you a kind of a highlight on that and where things are and what our thoughts are on it as well so um, what happens if you have an accident? Well, that's what's going to happen. Uh, you know, that's what we're talking about in the lead pedal Q and a, we had a listener ask that. And then we have an amazing Skillex truck to show you in episode 1049. We call it the beer crusher. Now we'll explain that once we get to it, but it's a very, very cool, very, very cool truck. Uh, you know, students in training are all big in the news. There's a lot of funding going on and we're going to talk a little bit about that in episode 1050. And then what was the biggest trucking company in the world? What do you think that is? Uh, we'll leave it for episode 1051 and let you know who that is. Um, in episode 1052, we're going to be talking about finishing trainings and orientation. That's right. A lot of training uh, information and what you should be looking for as far as finishing uh, schools, that kind of thing. Uh, and then we're talking about what companies have to offer uh, as far as home time. Uh, you know, a lot of people are wondering, how do I get home? How do I get the miles? How do I work for a trucking company? We're going to answer all of that for you. we got the Belmere Cal over to show you in episode number 1054 that's august 18th that's going to be our featured truck you don't want to miss that one it's a sweet sweet ride a lot of trailer unveils going on and we're going to be uh covering one of them uh for you this one's through imvr uh and zavcor they're uh they've uh they've merged to uh wrap a trailer about human trafficking and we'll be recapping that event for you for sure because human trafficking is a big problem and something that the transportation industry is actually leading to uh to uh help with uh episode number um 1056 uh, we're going to talk about uh the first trucking company in canada and who that that was that might surprise you in episode 157 1057 we get into uh, technology and how it's affecting the trucking industry and how uh how it's affecting you as a driver or an owner operator as well uh are trucks hard to drive somebody asked us that they said man it's so intimidating can i actually drive that well we'll answer that question for you in lead pedal q a and then stefan constantine we're going to showcase his 1991 international uh for you that we saw up at the clifford truck show that's a sweet ride uh we got another uh Uh, unveiling going on with the Women's Trucking Federation of Canada. It's going to be happening in episode 1060. We'll recap that for you. Uh, They're they're actually unwrapping four 
trucks. Four trailers at that event, so it's in Mississauga, and we'll be uh, looking at that for you for sure. Who has the largest fleet of trucks? Ooh, <laughs> that may surprise you. It's probably not who you think. And then uh, courtesy and trucking. Courtesy has gone down, and we're going to be talking about that in episode 1062, uh, about courtesy, the road, that kind of thing. And have you ever tried to drive for a race team? Have you ever wondered what it's like? What do you have to do? Well, we'll be... Um, We'll be showcasing some of that for you in episode 1063. And then, of course, our fan club member Ryan Masters was up at the uh, Great Canadian Truck Show and wanted us to see his Peterbilt that he's driving. So we will be showcasing that for you as well at the end of the month. So that takes us through to the end of the month. There's lots of stuff going on there, uh, lots of stuff for you to see. And uh, when we come back, we're going to run through some of the events for you so you know who to... uh, who you got to work with and uh, all that kind of stuff. So uh, uh, stay with us here and uh, we'll get back. We'll get back to it. Hey folks, today's driver industry is changing like crazy. There's no more paper resumes or applications for you to fill out. Nowadays, it's all online profiles and the big companies just pull right from the uh, ministry offices to make sure that your the documents they're getting are official. So why not make sure that you're official and in control of your work history? That's where Driver Verified comes in. All you have to do is go to driververified.com and create your own profile. You create a profile, you can put your awards in, you can put pictures in, you can put your resume up there. And you know what? It is searchable. It's searchable by the insurance industry. It's searchable by the carriers and searchable by you. You can send people a direct report. It's free to set up. You don't pay anything unless you start sending out reports. And you know what? The companies will even pay that for you probably anyway. But you can do this on your own. If you're a driver, an owner operator, a company or an insurance broker, then this is for you. Go to driververified.com Create your profile today and get yourself in command of your documentation so that you know your work history and you have something that's presentable to the industry. And you know what? When you're talking to them, tell them the Limpedal Podcast sent you. All right, my friends, driververified.com. That's where I'd go. Bye for now. All right, so let's get into some of the events that we got coming up. There's actually quite a few shows here for August, so we'll uh, get things going here. Um, and there's been a couple more that have... Uh, been sent people been sending me stuff left and right so i uh i better bring this up to see if i can even uh get it get get the right information because some of it uh came through at the last minute here and i want to make sure i've got what i should be talking about uh let's see let's see let's see one moment one moment one moment just stay with the host he should be prepared but he's not so that's what you have to deal with all right let's get started here uh let's start with the um the beginning of uh we just had the great canadian truck show which was great and then um we now have sorry i'm still trying to fight oh there it is all right just wanted to make sure when this date was because it's uh let's see when is the date You know, people, if you have a poster, you should put the date on it. That's the way. Everything but the date. Oh, August 11th, 12th. Okay. All right. So here we go. (laughs) We've got uh, the Rodeo de Cameo in Notre Dame de Nord is starting August 3rd, 4th. Uh, You can go to elrodeo.com slash English Festival. (laughs) They're a Quebec show, but uh, good show. That's the one where they race up and down the hill, so that's good. We've got a new show, Gray County Truck Show in Southgate, Ontario, August 13th, 11th to 13th, and that's going to be at the face. um, They've got a uh, Facebook.com events there, so you can check that out. Uh, Then we have um, the Ontario Antique Trucks. This Dan Davison gave me this. This is the one I was just looking for. August 11th, 12th, and 13th at the... uh, Cohen Park, McGregor, Ontario. That's out by Windsor, Ontario. And uh, they're going to be doing uh, at the Steam and Gas Engine Museum. Uh, You're going to see some old tractors, old trucks, the whole bit. Uh, That goes on the Friday... Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, um, and it's uh, $8 each to get in. So uh, you can get a three-day pass for 12 bucks. So there you go. Uh, we'll put that on our calendar too. Uh, le- then we have uh, the Athens Truck Show, which is happening. Um, and actually, Athens, I thought Athens was uh, earlier here. Holy smokes. I will update that. I believe Athens went to the 13th of August. They moved it up this year. It was usually the 25th, and I think I forgot to change the date. So just let me check something here and see if I can get it real quick. If not, I will just add it into our show notes for this episode. So that's where where you can go to find all the links for this stuff is to just go to the show notes um, for this episode. 
But I believe the Athens Truck Show, it, which is by Brockville, is going to be on August 13th this weekend, uh, 12th, 13th. Uh, I was talking to Charlie at uh, Great Canadian, at, sorry, at Clifford, and he said he moved it up. It used to be on the 25th, so I think they've changed that. I will verify that for you and put it in the show notes. Um, then Zavcor IMVR, they're wrapping a trailer. They're holding an event. It's going to be at the Relay Truck Stop in Beamsville, Ontario. That's happening uh, Tuesday, August 15th from 10 to 1. You're welcome to come out. It's going to be about human trafficking. They'll unveil the trailer and uh, see which one they've got. WTFC, the Women's Trucking Federation of Canada, is unveiling four other trailers on August 17th. That's in Mississauga at the Hilton um, the Hilton Hotel. Um, that'll be in the show notes there. You can learn more about that at Women's Trucking Federation of Canada. Of course, then we got Sparta, St. Thomas, Big Rigs Nationals happening August 18th to 19th. We will be at that one. STRacewayPark.com is where you can learn more about that. And then, of course, uh, Truck Driver Appreciation Week is September 5th to 10th. We're going to be at Bison Transport on September 5th and Rims Transport on September 7th, broadcasting live for you. So we'll be... uh, um, you can, you can uh, join us for the show. Uh, Truck Driver Appreciation Week in the States in, is September 12th to 17th. And then the Seaforth Truck Show, they're on September 9th this year uh, up in Seaforth, Ontario. And they're going to be um, having a, a, a old old show there through the Antiques Truck Club as well. Special Olympics Ontario Truck Ride is September 16th. That actually starts the 15th of Friday night. Uh, that will be at that one for sure. Uh, you can go to truckride.ca to uh, join in. Uh, the Trucking uh, Network Mega Job Fair is on September 23rd, 2023. That's going to be at the Pearson Convention Center, Brampton, Ontario. We'll also be out for that one. Bridging the Barrier event. This is a great event in Mississauga, Ontario, September 25th, 26, 2023. Put on by the Women Trucking Federation of Canada. You can check that out for sure. 104 DC has a truck display there, usually in September. It's National Monument at Fredericksburg, Virginia. And Driver Check Fitness for Duty Summit is October 18, 2023. Now, this is a virtual event this year. Go to drivercheck.ca to learn more about that. Uh, the Fleet Safety Council is having their um, their fleet safety event on October 27th. And uh, that's going to be in Brampton, Ontario. That's fleetsafetycouncil.com to get tickets. That one's already half sold out, so make sure you get in there. Uh, Atlantic Truck Show at atls.ca uh, is usually sometime in October. And ISB Me Biz and Breakfast has not announced a new date, but they usually have something going on in uh, the end of October. ISBglobalservices.com. Uh, Border Town Working Truck Show and Shine is usually got something going on. Check out their Facebook page. And Road Today, uh, I'm not sure if they're having a job fair this year or not. So those, that's what we've got on the docket. We will be at most of those events, and hopefully we'll see you there for sure. So that's going to be uh, pretty incredible, <laughs> the stuff that's going on there. So, All right, so if you have not heard of the trucking network uh let me tell you a little more more about it hey folks you ready for another mega job fair that's right and uh so they've got a job fair happening it's on september uh 23rd it goes from eight until four in the afternoon uh at the pearson convention center in brampton ontario this is all of the recruiters are in one room. They, they usually sell out at this show. It's free to attend. If you want to sponsor, you can contact the Trucking Network events.ca. Register. They give away cash prizes, and we will be roaming the room for you. So, you know, you'll see us there. All right. So, that's to go. All right, everybody. Thanks very much for listening to us. Um, stay connected with us. We're on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, or whatever they're calling it. TikTok and LinkedIn and you can uh, find us there for sure. All right. We'll talk to you later. Be good out there and uh, bye for now. This has been another episode of the lead pedal podcast. More information or to subscribe to the podcast, visit the lead pedal podcast.com and be sure to follow the podcast on Facebook and Twitter.